entertainment in uh, today's climate is usually built upon nostalgia or hype. I myself am hyped for Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, and while the days crawl at a snail's pace towards May 29th, my mind keeps coming back to what should be in this new game. The last video I made like this was my Breath of the Wild 2 video. I would like to say it did well, but I'm writing the script while that video is uploading, and I really want to make this video. Here's my list of things I want in Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 had some problems, but one new feature that the game added was the Events Theater. Players could access this feature in the main menu, and it allowed people to re-watch the cutscenes, Blade Quests, and Blade Awakenings whenever they wanted. This is something I want to return in Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, because it would be an absolute blast revisiting all the scenes with Metal Face in them. Also, it would make the process of recording B-roll for videos much easier. The first video I posted on this YouTube channel was where I lamented about five things I hate in Xenoblade Chronicles 2. One of those things I talked about was how bad the game engine was. I wholeheartedly expect that Monolith Soft, the company who makes the Xenoblade games, will reuse this engine that was used in Xenoblade Chronicles X. I have said it before that this game engine has numerous problems, most notably, the difficulty the game has rendering textures. I'm sure it's a great engine if it's running on one of those $10,000 Titan GPUs, and I have a hard time seeing how it would fit in a Nintendo Switch. If this game is running on that game engine, Monolith Soft needs to divert lots of their effort into fixing this problem. So far, I've only talked about things that should return from previous games, and I'm not stopping there. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 removed several systems that had been present in previous games. And so, the best way to make an authentic Xenoblade experience is to bring them right back. Yep, I'm talking about the return of the Collectopedia and Affinity Chart. Why did Monolith Soft remove these in the first place? The Collectopedia was a natural and simple way for the game to reward the player for exploring. The Affinity Chart kind of came back and torn the Golden Country with the community, but it never showed the complex relationships of the NPCs in an organized fashion. These are things that should not only come back in the original game, but could also be expanded upon. When Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition gets released to the Switch, new players and old fans will come to experience what the original game was like. But what if we had more than just the original experience? This is the perfect opportunity to add new or unused content. I'm mostly talking about the main game by adding new quests or heart-to-hearts. And yes, I know about the future connected and how that is new, but I want to see more stuff in the base game. Hey, does anyone remember the tedious process of raising affinity? You probably don't, because it was a uh, nightmare. People never knew how many more flowers to give to Sharla, or how, how much you needed to encourage each other in battle, or timing soul voices in Xenoblade Chronicles X. Oh yeah, the affinity system was in that game as well. People never knew when teammates would have barely reached that next level because the game never had the option to see how far the characters had come. Is this a detrimental problem? No, it's just an inconvenience, aka a nitpick. Still, is there no way to show how far I need to go in order to see the next heart to heart? Honestly, if Monolith Soft doesn't do anything about it, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition will still be awesome. I'm writing this script at the end of April, and Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition comes out at the end of May. So, I doubt that even if Monolith Soft listened to this, they wouldn't be able to implement them in time. So, do you agree with me? What are you looking forward to while playing this work of art? Please tell me, and I'll be looking forward to seeing what your lists are. Anyways, bye.